You've reached the Love and Luck podcast. Hey, Jason. So, remember when you had that hangover that you think I scooped out of your brain? So, this is weird, but today a guy at work had a migraine. He didn't really want to go home because he needs the money, but he was looking rough. A lot of us were worried about him. And I was thinking about your hangover, and then mostly to amuse myself, I took a quiet minute while I was on break, and I thought about pulling the migraine out of him. And I know this sounds weird, but it was... sticky. Like, when I visualized vacuuming your hangover out, it was a easy thought, like sucking something through a straw. But when I thought about this guy's migraine, it was... sticky. Like dough. I was really surprised by that, and kind of interested, because that's really fucking weird. So, I kept at it for a bit. And after a few minutes, I hear him let out this huge sigh on the other side of the room, right? And someone passing by him asks how he's doing, and he kind of blinks and says that his migraine is gone. He was really bewildered by it. Apparently, migraines don't generally just disappear like that all at once. Did I... did I do that? Do you think... Or was it just another coincidence? I I can't tell. One coincidence is kind of funny, but a second really similar one like this is... I don't know. It's weird. Hey, so... If it is a coincidence, it's a really fucking specific one. I think it's more likely that you're some kind of wizard. Which is awesome, by the way. I've always wanted a wizard boyfriend. Oh, hey, I have another job interview this Savo at this shitty bar. Do you think you can use your newfound magic powers to make that go well? It's a crap job, but I really need the money. Rent's a bit tight this month, and it's my birthday today, so I could use a good mood booster. The interview's at 2.40. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Make the interviewer say, like, a code word or something. That way we'll know it was you. Make them say, like, uh, how about teddy bear? That seems an unlikely enough word to hear at a job interview in a bar that it'll stand out. I didn't know today was your birthday. How the heck did that bit of information get missed? Are we doing something? Anyway, I guess I deserved that. I don't think you should hold out hope for a wizard boyfriend anytime soon, though. I'm pretty sure I'm just being startled by coincidences, and also, I'm not Daniel Radcliffe, so I think you may have to settle for a normal boyfriend instead. I will, however, definitely try and make your interviewer say teddy bear, because that would be hilarious. Good luck. Oh my god, okay, so first of all, I got the job. She offered it to me on the spot. Second of all, I don't think you should discount the wizard theory just yet. Because not only did I get the job, but in the middle of the interview, she suddenly started telling me this weird story about her favourite teddy bear from when she was a kid. There was no reason for her to do that. It was definitely not a natural shift in the conversation. You're a wizard, Harry! Hey! Don't make fun of your boyfriend. It's not nice. I still love you, though. Kane, I'm not joking. I mean, yeah, I made a stupid Harry Potter joke, but I wasn't joking about the rest. I really did get the job, and she really did tell me this weirdly out-of-context story about her childhood teddy bear. I really don't think it was a coincidence. I think you affected it somehow. Hey, that's... 
That's weird. I'm not... I'm not really willing to agree with you on this just yet, but that's definitely weird. Anyway, I'm really glad you got the job, though. That's a pretty great birthday present. Oh, speaking of which, we are doing something for your birthday tonight, right? Your place or mine? Right, yes. Sorry. My place. Come around after work? And bring your magic, wizard boyfriend. Love and Luck is written by Erin Kian and produced by Paso Volpez Productions. Kane is voiced by Lee Davis Dalborn. Jason is voiced by Erin Kian. Credits spoken by Rosalind Quinn. Recorded by Kermy Braden. For more information about Love and Luck, check out our website, loveandluckpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook as Love and Luck Podcast and follow us on Twitter at, at Love Luck Podcast. <laughs>